Hello, Fletcher. I'm Graham, and welcome to this unbelievable special episode of FNN. Today, we are going to be talking about, about the importance of bees. Bees are essential for our planet's ecosystem, and they're in danger. We need to do everything we can do to protect them. Did you know that bees pollinate crops, which means they will they help to grow food. They also pollinate wildflowers, which helps to keep our environment healthy. Without tr without bees, we have a lot less food to eat, and our environment would be even more in trouble. Watch this next video with more facts about bees. Hey, bunch of students, I'm going to say some facts about bees since we found a swarm of them at the school, but it was resolved when we called a professional beekeeper. Some fun facts about bees are they can go up to 15 miles per hour and honeybees die on the first time they sting. Also, queen bees um, purposes is to lay eggs and to control the hive. Um, all worker bees are female too. It takes up to 21 days for, for female eggs to hatch and 24 days for a drone to hatch, aka a male. 16 to 17 days for a queen bee to hatch. And that's all the fun facts I got for you today. Thanks, Max. I'm glad we were able, able to remove the bees safely. There are, many, there are many things that we can do to help bees. We can plant bee-friendly gardens, avoid using pesticides, and support beekeepers, get others about the importance of bees. Here to help with that is our very own beekeeper, Mrs. McConnell. Hey there, I'm uh, Miss McConnell. I teach upper school Spanish and American Sign Language, and I'm also a certified beekeeper. And I was asked to uh, talk to you guys about beekeeping, so I thought I would show you my tiny apiary. So um, a little bit about the equipment. This is my protective bee suit. I've got the gloves in my hat. I am also wearing protective pants and boots. I've got hive tools and also my smoker. So here I am prepping my smoker. The smoke does not hurt the bees. What it does is basically the smoke disrupts their activity momentarily and it tells the bees to go ahead and go back down into the hive, which makes it much easier for the beekeeper to work within the hive. Okay, my smoker is lit. I'm wearing my protective veil, and you can see from the, uh, the inside or the front of the hive, the bees are really active right now, which is exactly what we want to see. Have you ever wondered what's inside these boxes? Well, the bottom box is typically called the brood box. Brood is just a fancy word for um, eggs and where the babies live. And as you work your way up, you have a combination of brood and honey supers. And honey supers are what we call the boxes that are dedicated specifically for making honey. So this is what a frame looks like. The outside area here is all honey and these little brown circles are called brood and those are um, bees underneath there that are getting ready to hatch. Ever been inside a bee box? Take a look at all these beautiful pollinators. How did I get into beekeeping? Well, my father-in-law started keeping bees about three years ago and I was immediately fascinated by them. Um, and so a year after helping him keep bees, uh, my husband and I decided to enroll in bee school. 
where we took classes and we learned how to keep bees. And then I got bees and I continued studying and I took a test and a practicum and I passed and now I am a certified beekeeper. Currently, I have two hives at my apiary at my home. I've got one super hive and then I have a smaller hive. I also help manage about approximately 18 hives at my father-in-law's house up in Salisbury. So what do I have to do to be a beekeeper? Well, the first thing you wanna do is actually learn about bees. Bees are a lot of work and at any given time, there's about 60 to 80,000 bees in that hive, um, all ready to go with their stingers. So you wanna make sure that you know how to properly handle the bees and always be in protective gear. As a beekeeper, my job is to remember that bees are not pets. I do not keep them. We work together to make sure that the hive is working properly, that they are well taken care of. And that way, when it's time to harvest the honey, um, there's enough honey for the bees to have some, and then I get to keep any of the leftovers. It's important to remember that as beekeepers, even though we love the honey, the honey really is the main food source for the bees. So you have to make sure that you know how much honey the bees need, need in order to get through the winter. And that way as the human, I can harvest the rest. As a beekeeper, I wanna get in my hive to inspect about every one to two weeks. When you go in and inspect, I'm just looking to make sure that one, the, the hive is healthy, that the queen is laying eggs, that the bees' wings look good, and that there's enough space. Oftentimes, bees will swarm because they've run out of space to lay. Thank you so much for watching FNN. I hope this helps answer some questions you have about beekeeping. I think it would be really amazing if we could get bees here at the Fletcher School and we could really learn hands-on about how awesome they are. Have a great weekend. Bye. Look, a little friend decided to visit. Hey girl. Bees are amazing creatures and they deserve our protection. Let us all do our part to help them.